ready to roll with the Parkers? Well, honey, yep. getting ready to pack up and leave and head off to our next adventure. Yeah, but it's really one constant evolving adventure, not as opposed to a new adventure. It's the same adventure, just evolving. Right? Good morning, rollers. Good morning. Um, today's Tuesday. Tomorrow we're checking out at Jim Hogg Park on Lake Georgetown. Happy birthday to my mom. And uh, may the 4th be with you. I just realized something. What's that? I'm a redneck. Looks like I got a little son with all my walks. But anyway, tomorrow we're rolling out. We're going to uh, get up early. We've got most of our breakdown stuff already done. <clears throat> so we don't have that much to do to get up on out of here tomorrow. We're going to try to get to Princess Craft by 9 in the morning. And why are we going to Princess Craft? Um, we've you got, saw one of our last videos. Yeah, we, we've got two very small leaks and a couple other minor things that they're going to try to take care of. Right back here, where you see my finger, our stargazer window sprung a leak. Pretty much the entire two weeks we've been here, it's been thunderstorm after thunderstorm after thunderstorm. But we're very lucky that we, um, we didn't get the worst of it. Um, Austin, Bastrop, and what to our west, all around us. I mean, just it's all like, around us. They've got hail like, and here we are in high winds. All around us, hail, ping pong size hail, apple size hail. Just uh, in the city of Hondo, it just it destroyed. There's a 55 plus RV community, and every one of the RVs were destroyed. Sad, but um, by the grace of God, we we well, got the rain, but we didn't get the hail. And hopefully, the they winds. all had insurance. That's sad. But, uh, but, so tomorrow will be a busy day. Um, yeah, we got up and cleaned the roof off yesterday, and Linda noticed along the top edge of that stargazer window is some caulking, and you can see a little crack, so we kind of suspect, suspect that's water's going. going under there. It probably needs to be recalked, is all. And we have a small leak, I mean, since day one, when we first got the lens under the kitchen sink. A small leak so we've had a we keep a fiber towel under there every single day we trade it out and they're gonna hopefully <laughs> be able to fix that hopefully be able to fix the window be able to hopefully fix our blind we have a blind that broke like the first week we had it I went to pull it down and it went whoosh. <laughs> just minor things yeah other than that we are enjoying in talking to one of the ser lamps. service people at Princess Craft he says the spring in there gets unsprung and they have to go in there and restring it and spring it, whatever. He says it happens a lot, so. Uh, I figured out a way. Basically, we just rolled it up and put two chip clips on it to, 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 to have it up mm -hmm. so we can still see out the window and everything. And uh, once the warranty's gone and if it springs again, that's probably what we'll do rather than pay to fix it if it's going to keep coming unsprung. But, um, We've enjoyed Lake Georgetown. Dwight went to storage. We got rid of our second storage unit. Mm -hmm. Gave away some more stuff uh, to some neighbors that we used to live next door to. And took our bikes out. Dwight bought a bike rack. We'll uh, add a picture to that in our video. So we're now carrying both of our bikes. Um, we On the days where it hasn't rained or before we get rained on, we've ridden the bikes up to the grocery store. He's got those saddlebags. We bring stuff back. Uh, there's a lot of uh, different uh, paths you can take here around Lake Georgetown. Uh, gives you a really good bike ride. I ride around that whenever it's not raining. <laughs> but um, what else? Oh, and we've been busy booking the rest of our year. Dwight has used some apps. I'll let him tell you what those are. 
and we are booked now uh, into 12 different states through February 28th, and we started RVing full-time February 28th. So we're missing one month, and that's the month of September. We have the states picked out. We just need to get the uh, campgrounds. But picked out and reserved. We worked late into the night last night. I took some pictures, but I've lost my phone. You tell them what apps you're using, and I'll look for your my phone's, phone. Your phone's right there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> making this video. But anyway, there's your phone right there. Right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I took a picture on my laptop here. I, I have a spreadsheet. I'm so stupid. I really am. Um, I took a, I, I, we've, I've got a spreadsheet with the campground, um, name, uh, where it is, the address, the site number, Check-in date and time, check-out date and time, when we booked it, confirmation number, the uh, amenities, how much it cost, and then how many miles is it from where we are to our next stop, so we know how to plan accordingly. I took a picture of all 12 of the states and a map I was going to show you guys so I could look at it while we were filming the video, but I forgot we're not using Dwight's camera, we're using my, my phone. So we'll add that to our video. To the end of the video, yeah. He chose to marry me. He knew I was like this when he asked me. <laughs> yeah, I... Tell him the coffee pot story from when you came over for coffee one day while we were dating. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you want to tell it? <laughs> I had a Mr. Coffee coffee pot, and I... He came over one day, and I said, let me make a pot of coffee, and I poured the water in, and I put the coffee pot in there, and nothing. I turned it on, plugged it in, nothing. Oh, it made, I said, it made coffee. It just stuck I said, in the basket. It's broken, and uh, I guess the coffee pot has that lid that goes on it. I had taken it off to pour the water in. And it needs the lid to bump up on the filter basket thing. To open up the So all the water filter. was in the basket, but it didn't come out because it didn't have the lid on. <laughs> so I thought it was broken. I was getting ready to throw it away, and he put the lid on. <laughs> well. That's probably the one and only dumb thing I've ever done in my life, right? Well, I don't know. The other night. Linda, she wants to be able to do everything so that when I keel over, she can keep doing this, you know. So the other night, she was taking the, <laughs> the portable holding tank down to the dump station. She was going to dump the gray water. I somebody somebody comes flashing their lights at her. You, here, you lost your wheels to your thing. She's dragging <laughs> with no wheels the tank down the road. Luckily, it was the gray water. <laughs> <laughs> So she calls me because it's got. It's too heavy. I couldn't lift it up to get the wheels. Fifteen back on gallons it. of water in there. That's 120 pounds. She couldn't lift it up and get the wheels. I could in there. lift it, but I couldn't get the because I was holding the thing. I couldn't get the wheels, and I'm trying to push the wheels, but it's with their wheels, right? So I'm pushing them, and they're rolling, and I'm like, ah. So. So she called me. I walked down there. We got the wheels on, took it down, and dumped it, and decided that. Well. If I'm dragging on the ground, it put a little hole in there, so we can't use that. And so, so it leaks. So, so tell them what happened yesterday. I, I took it down. I, she took it and threw it I in the dumpster. I rolled it and threw it in the dumpster. About an hour later, we see two people walking behind the RV here, and they're rolling our that, wastewater tank with them. <laughs> that has a hole in it. Linda says, you think I ought to go tell them it's got a hole in it? And I said, do I said let them just figure it out? But <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, what if they put their black water in there? So I get out and I run down the road and I tell them, hey, by any chance, did you guys just take that out of the dumpster? And she said, yes. I said, well, the reason I threw it away is because the wheels fell off of it, and I was actually dragging it on the road behind me, so it has a hole in it. And if you guys want, you can try to fix it, but before you drain your black water tanks in there, I just 
just wanted to let you know. Put some fresh water in there and find the hole and try to fix it before you. It's got holes in it. <laughs> it's it's plastic. If you roughed it up real good, you could put some JB Weld or epoxy cover in that. Let it dry real good and it would probably fix it. But we didn't want to take that chance. We're just going to get a new, well, we're going to get a new one that the wheels don't fall off to begin with. This one had a warning on it. That the wheels it's, would fall off. It says go real slow. I was going eight miles an hour. Dwight said you have to go like four miles an hour. You have to go walking speed. No faster than you can walk. I told Dwight, you get in the truck and you drive slow. I will I can walk fast. I'll keep up with you. I was jogging and I couldn't keep up with him. And I was going five <laughs> miles an hour, you know, so. But that was an amazing statement and everybody just let it pass by right there. I was jogging. I was jogging. Oh, well, I... I didn't kill over of a heart attack or anything. I, I was actually... <laughs> Not for very long. <laughs> yeah, you, your knees won't take that too long, I don't believe. I am a ding-dong. But what else have we done? Well, you... Oh, I got up on the roof and I put a tarp over the stargazer window when we were having some really bad storms and it, that prevented any more leaking from getting it, in. Yeah, we didn't have any more leaks after that, so <clears> we, <throat> we kind of think it's... We have duct tape up there right now. Yeah, we put some duct tape over just the caulk that we saw the crack. But, and, of course, we didn't get any rain to test it. But, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they had a 90% chance of these heavy thunderstorms. Our NOAA radio was just going off, but it, it was all around us. But, boy, it just... Yeah, it went off three times during the night. The yeah. last time it went off, Linda says, turn that thing off. <laughs> and it went off early this morning again. Yeah, it was about 6 or 6.30. But it was all around us. But uh, Yep. Anyway, um, we're headed to our new destination tomorrow. Hopefully they will not need to keep the lands overnight where we have to get a hotel because we do not have one reserved. And it's hard when you have two dogs to find a hotel. But um, I would go all the way back to Belton at that Holiday Inn Express that we stayed on just to buy a couple of pillows. <laughs> Stay there and get, buy some pillows because those pillows were comfortable. But anyway. So anyway, yeah, we stayed up late booking campsites we're, we're doing what they call speed camping man we're moving on yeah each each place will stay a week we're gonna hit 12 different states but anyway hopefully our videos will become a little bit more exciting I mean we're fairly boring to begin with we've lost a few members you know we we warned everybody in the beginning we're just kind of boring uh, we don't go out and do the tourism thing and well spend I mean we, li we live stuff. here I mean, I mean we no, already live in there's Texas. nothing for us to see I was thinking I could go out and, and video downtown Georgetown for the people who haven't been here because downtown Georgetown is real pretty. Um, but as we start rolling around to different states, we will get out and see a few things. Um, so hopefully our videos will have a little bit more than just pictures of deer and flowers. But, you know, that is, it is what it is. We do this mainly for our own memories. So we can have something to look back on as we get older and for our friends and family. But any other person who happens to, to subscribe and, you know, we appreciate the viewers and the comments yeah. and stuff. But we're just simple, kind of laid back. And if you pay attention every now and then, we might say something funny. Or we might do something. We might get a laugh out of you. But you never know. Depends on your sense of humor, I guess. How do y'all like his haircut from the last video? I have not paid for a haircut in over a year and a half. I'm not g great at it, but I've watched several YouTube videos, and I can. I'm getting better and better at when I do his hair with the clippers. I now. just got got some clippers, put the four guard on there, and then it buzzes all off the same length. And then they've got ear guards, which are tapered from a two to a four two and then four higher to blend it and then they've got one for the left ear right here works great i mean you know i don't I've have never gone up the back of your head again with I, the one well yeah with the zero i card. almost handed you the clippers the other day with no guard no oh no 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 don't i do did that. that once and <laughs> went right up the back of his head and i said <laughs> so i wore a hat I, I wore a hat for a month and it grew back <laughs> luckily our neighbor raquel is a absolutely fabulous yeah, hair, uh, hairstylist, hairstylist, and she fixed it up pretty. And she blended pretty. it really well for him. Whenever I'm in Texas, she's the only one I go to get my hair cut. I can't find anybody to, get, to cut hair as good as her. So I'll probably just not get a haircut at all until I come. we come back to Texas next October. 
So anyway, <clears throat> this is kind of a long intro into our uh, videos. What we're trying to do now is uh, w d just wait the whole two weeks. Uh, then we'll put together, if anything, what we did or what we saw uh, during our two-week stay. And Damn, we're not waiting for nothing. Just then if, put if, it on. If, if we... if Hey, look at that. If I move my elbow, it shakes the camera. Ooh. But anyway. I thought it was because we were heavy and... Anyway, the windows are open. It's the wind. It's yeah, the wind. Yeah, it. the wind. But <laughs> if we think of something like the other day, I made a stupid video about smoking a chicken. You know, I hated that video only because I I was watching it back and I'm like, my the whole through the whole video I'm like, I looked like I was mad at the world and I'm like, what was I doing with my face? It was. I keep making that same kind of video over and over again because I love my old Smokey. And he makes a really good smoked chicken, but not everybody has seen the other videos. And mm -hmm. anyway, I put together some salsa verde chicken enchiladas. But like in the beginning, I, I've saved some recipes. I want to see how they turn out in the RV. You know, <clears throat> we are who we are. And like I said, these are mainly for our memories and for friends and family. But anybody who wants to jump on the bandwagon, you know, I'm sure we'll get better as we as we move along, as we roll along. But one thing we've been talking about already just one month into this full-time RVing is this thing is small. Do we want to get a bigger RV already? <laughs> <laughs> but no, <coughs> we, 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 spent a, we spent a pretty penny on this trailer and a pretty penny on our truck. And if we get a bigger trailer we're gonna to have to get a bigger truck so uh, we're good in this one we're gonna hang out in this one for at least a year if i'm saying two years to, i think two years we're to gonna get, start with the uh, to get our money's worth out of it with the south east right yeah southeast. we're gonna start out in the southeast and hit all the way like tennessee arkansas tennessee and then we'll tell you why we're doing this because linda ordered an rv <clears throat> map and she wants to be able to put all the stickers of the states that we camped in. Right. There are certain states that we don't really <clears throat> want to go to. But we're going to be right there anyway to get from here to there. We're going to go through it. So let's, even if it's spending just one night or three nights, I'm putting my sticker on. But some of the cities or states that we're going to go through, I don't really have an interest in seeing them. I could care less. But I want my sticker. And, uh... Well, I mean... We it's like we don't know a lot about a lot of states. I mean, you know. I've never been to any of them, really. So, um, basically, until like, you go there and stay for a few days, I, I'm not, it's going to be a rare occasion that we stay one night and get up and go. I, I don't like driving that much. No, and some of these places, between stops are 240 miles, I think, is our biggest one. So we'll just take turns driving, which means I need to start towing this a lot more. I will usually tow it like out of the campground and before we get onto the freeway. But when we get to the freeway, I'll pull over into a gas station and trade places because I'm afraid to tow it on the freeway. Because if I have to switch lanes, I'm so afraid. What if I hit somebody behind us? I'm scared of that. So I need to, I really need to learn to tow. Last time I towed it, I think it was when we were coming here, yeah, um, I put on my turn signals and everybody was courteous and let me over. So, Out I mean, <laughs> they knew, I mean, you know, they were courteous. Not, not everybody's going to be courteous and let somebody tow in a trailer over, so you got to be careful. But I was surprised that so many people, because we kind of came a back way, we went by and picked up some mail at my... From my son who had been collecting my mail for me and uh it was kind of a back way and i didn't know which <clears> lane to be in i was in the right lane i needed to be in the middle lane to turn left and you know stuff like that but we'll get the hang of it we're still new oh us. I, shoot i can tow this thing i've been doing it but we're going to look back at these videos and think how weird they are i think we'll get better over time so thank you for those of those for those of you who have stuck with us and are still subscribed and um we're not in this to have, you know, hundreds of subscribers or we know we're never going to be money on get making money on YouTube. You'll probably never see an advertisement on, on our channel. 
watch our channel. You don't have to see any advertising. But yeah, because because we're not <laughs> we're not going to sign up mm -mm. to put ads. You know, I, there's a lot of people I do like watching, but you'd be watching their their channel and they're so uh, they're dependent on trying to make some money off of it. They, it's like every two or three minutes. Every two or three minutes, they'll put an up. ad in there. But some of them you can't skip. Luckily, those are usually short. But but anyway. But anyway, we're, we're going to try to avoid that. Anyway, before this thing <clears throat> rolls over 20 minutes, we're going to say goodbye. Thank you for rolling with the Parkers, and we'll see y'all later on down we'll the road. We'll see you at our next destination every day. Remember, the best days are in the camper. That must be a cap post right there. Because they've got a huge site. Look at looks all like, these trash bins. Yeah, it looks like somebody new got the contract because they're all green like the other ones. All right. We are in site number three, which is going to be, I think, right up here near the front. Yeah, the first time we were down there, I think, or was it down this second one? I don't remember. I don't even remember what site we were in. We're almost there, guys. Are you excited? Shanti just woke up. Well, how do we know we weren't back there? Because it said one to three this way. Oh, okay. Gosh, I hope we're not in this first site right here. Well, it's probably going to be our... Oh, God, it's got a broken tree. It's got several broken right. trees. This two. is site number two. Three, right there. I'm curious as to whether or not anyone knows if this is a whippoorwill calling.
the road runner.
right did you see that water just come in where right here oh yeah what the hell put the light back up there Hold on, there it is right there. You have got to be kidding me. We put a tarp outside over the window in hopes to stop the leak. I'm going to check. So far, so good. See, I put a tarp outside. The leak is right up in here. Come on, tarp, do your job. Let's walk the dogs. Okay. Are they walking us or are we walking them? Last time they walked us. I think it's a little bit of both. Dwight, you want some dinner tonight? What? What? Uh, Did you say something? What? I said what? Yeah. What? Oh. Dang, I can't hear a thing. Well, it is May. What? I said it's May. May is the rainiest month in Austin. I guess. What are you playing with your shoes? I found a new way to store my Crocs. Watch. <laughs> store.
throw them where on the floor? <laughs> take, up that, <laughs> take up less room that way, you know. Um, well, don't trip over my shoelaces. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, what are you guys doing? Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. That's a good boy right there. The sun is finally shining and there's no rain today. Woohoo! We got all the windows open. Dogs have been on their morning walk. Our windows are open. Fans going. Music is playing. Screen doors open. What a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? <laughs> All right. <laughs> we ain't too old. Good morning, folks. Oh, I guess we should have combed our hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I didn't comb my hair either. Which one? <laughs>